Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, this is another lesson of Cartoon Animator 5 and today we're going to be doing something special. I'm going to show you how to change the clothing colors on these characters. So let's not waste any time. Uh, normally uh, if you have an SVG uh, image then you would be going right here but you can see this isn't highlighted. Uh, SVG images, you can just go right into Cartoon Animator and change the color of the characters, which is great. But for all of the other characters that are bitmap, Photoshop images and that, you need to use a uh, photo image software. Okay, and so Krita is one of those free image software programs that you can use that's compatible with Cartoon Animator 5. Okay, so I've gone ahead and got my free copy and I've loaded it into my computer. And I'm here in Cartoon Animator 5 with the actor on the stage. So uh, what we're going to do is highlight the actor. And that will activate this right here for composer mode. Okay, and you can see the, that the character has layers. But what we're interested in is the bitmap editor. And I don't know why, but you just simply have to click on any part. And then all of a sudden that will highlight. Okay, so here we go. I've clicked apart and now I've got the sprite editor. And this is great. So let me show you what you can do here. Uh, you want to change a body part. You're going to just click on the image group that you want to work on. Okay, and you're going to say right here, let me turn on a highlighter. Okay, edit in the bitmap editor. right now I'm going to come down here because we already had this program open which is a little faster if you've already got it open and ready to go and it's now loaded the picture right into uh, Krita which is C R uh, I'm sorry K R I T A Krita that's the name of this photo editing software here we go this is uh, gonna be a cool trick you're gonna learn here so we've got a background image right here, and what we're going to do is right click on it and we're going to duplicate the layer. Okay, now we're going to work on just the copy, so I'm going to unselect that view and we're now just looking at the layer copy. Okay, we're going to come over here and we're going to select this one, Contingent Selection Tool. And I'm going to come over here on this first color and I'm going to click on it. Now that I've got that selected, I'm going to right click on it and we're going to convert this to a shape. And you're going to see over here that it's now created a new vector layer. That's what we want. Okay. Now I'm going to come back. I'm going to click this one. And when it doesn't work, I'm going to deselect because what I did wrong is you got to remember to come down each time and get back onto that copy of the picture before you do each step. Now the contingent selection tool is already selected so we don't have to keep coming over here and selecting it. Just keep working. I'm going to right click this piece now and I'm going to do the same thing. Convert to shape. Come back, click the copy. Now where I've got the two of them selected, I'm going to now hit, because it didn't unselect this one, I'm going to go ahead and hit the shift key and click this once. Okay, now I've only got this part selected and I'm going to right click it and I'm going to say convert to shape, excuse me, <laughs> All right, and back to the copy, next part. Great. Right click, convert to shape. Beautiful. Okay, so we've done almost all the parts. Now we're going to come up here, click this one. Oops, made the same mistake. Just come down, click that, then click that. Okay, now this one, I'm going to say, instead of convert to shape, whoop, hang on to one second. So it's important that you make sure you get the whole picture here. And if you look really close, I missed a little piece. 
So I'm going to hit the Shift key. And now I'm going to click that little piece. There we go. It grabbed all of it. Perfect. Now I'm right clicking. And on this one, I just want to copy uh, the selection to a new layer. Okay. So now that gave me an image file. Uh, rather than a colorized area, like these we're going to colorize. And this skin color, pretty much we're going to not have to ever do that. So we're going to leave it alone. Okay, so here's what we do. We click on these layers now. I got one layer here, and I'm going to hit the Shift key again, and I'm going to grab, I'm going to click down at the bottom skin layer. Now I have all these layers together, except for the copy of the background and the original background we started with. I'm going to right click, and we're going to group these. So we're on group and we're going to go quick group now you can go ahead and learn the shortcut keys i haven't done this program but a couple days and so um, i'm just going to show you how to get through this without confusing you with a uh, hundred shortcuts okay so now we have a group see i can close that group i can uh, turn off the view of the group and we're just seeing the the background now now let's turn off the background and turn on our group and see what we have here okay good so now what you want to do is now you're working with vector layers except for this one and what that means is you're using a different set of tools the tools that you started with right here these are for painting and things like that they're these are the vector tools up here and so now we're, we're going to do a slightly different thing. We're going to click on the very first layer. And you, for reference point, you can hover over it until that little picture comes up and tells you what, what you're looking for. And you can see that trace outline there. So it looks to me like this is the left piece. Okay. Now... I, the mistake I've made is I'm still in this selection mode and I didn't want to do that. So I'm going to just right click and say deselect. <clears throat> We're going to start fresh here with the vector tools like I was saying. And so I'm going to select the shape. Okay. Now if you see this thing scoot when you're selecting it, which every once in a while it does, just come up and right click up. Uh, go up to edit here and and just undo the one move that will where it says that you moved it okay you don't want these to scoot if they do scoot it's no problem you can re-scoot them back into position but how you can keep everything in one spot all right so here we go we're on the first layer and so now you're going to see when you go over to these tool options that there's options that weren't here before until you actually selected this and uh, you'll see when we get to the next one. So there's two things we're, we're looking at here. There's the line that goes around it, which you're seeing here, the blue line. And then there's the, going to be the fill color that we're going to fill. I'm going to take this line color off, okay? So instead of having a blue color, I'm just hitting the X and it's gone. And on the fill space, I'm going to hit this one here, solid color fill and click the empty color box and then comes up your wheel okay so now we can go ahead and select our color and so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go with the blue and uh, in this situation I'm going to go with the light blue as the accent stripe okay and so now I'm going to come here and uh, let's see first we have to um, uh, go to the, the next one it's like if you don't highlight the actual layer that you're going to work on then it won't work the next one is the uh, shadow so I'm going to roll the mouse back here and I'm going to hit the space bar and hold it while I drag my picture okay I'm going to roll it up bigger here all right so now this is a selectable item and I have my little arrow it's, it's on and so we're we're good to go I'm gonna select that okay and now this is already open for me so I just have two things to do 
turn off the line and put the color that I want in there. And in this case, it's the same highlight color as the uh, is the highlight here, the outside highlight. So we're good, we're done. I go to the third vector layer, and now it's selectable. We can check and see what that was. Yep, that's the body. And so we click it. And we'll just go ahead and uh, put the next color in. Okay, now this one's going to be the body color. There we go. And don't forget to take the line off. And we go to the last one. Once we select it here, it's now selectable here. So I've now select it. And I can zoom out and you can see that it's selecting the whole piece. I don't want to confuse you, but... Okay, and then here we go. There's not going to be a line color. We'll go ahead and take that off. Fill. This is going to be a dark accent. There it is. Okay. Okay, so here I am. Uh, I want to just quickly get to the neckline. So I put my cursor uh, right here. And now I'll roll the mouse wheel and see how that'll open it up. Or I come down here and I can see. Okay. All right, so now we have a group that has the whole entire image here. So we have one more thing to do in order to make this right. So I'm going to hit the space bar and hold it while I move my picture where I want to see it. I sometimes it's just easier for to do it that way. And we're going to go ahead and just minimize this group for just a second and double check everything. everything pretty solid and here's the uh, here's the original and here's ours so can you see what's missing we're missing this highlight so let's show you why okay so pretty much what I do is I just go ahead and I take the main dress and I move it on down the line see it moving right this is moving down when I hit the down arrow and basically what I'm doing is making it the bottom layer. Uh, there's the shadow. Now that just popped into play. And let's see where it... Basically as long as it was even one click below the shadow, you were uh, good to go. But for the sake of argument, I like putting the dress on the bottom. And then the other layers are packed around it. Okay, so there we go. Looks pretty... Pretty, pretty nice, huh? Now I may have picked up a couple little pixels of the red from the other outfit around the skin color, uh, but I doubt if that's going to be visible. Um, in fact, I'm seeing it because I still have that on. There we go. Now we're we have nice clean, nice clean. Uh, image to work with here okay so you can see that this doesn't line up just perfectly so no problem these are all just little pieces I click on the skin I click the selection tool only this time I'm just gonna click this one right here called the move tool move a layer and I can just scooch it a little bit And then I found that you can also, since these are vector, or this is a, an image you can just simply select. Okay, so the transform a layer just allows me to, as long as I hit the shift button while I'm, making it a little bigger it'll make the whole piece bigger thanks for watching guys be sure to come on back for part two we'll continue working on this project